Hi, this is Joni, holistic health teacher and guide. Many people become more food focused come spring. Eyes on cleaning up the diet, fitness plans, and bathing suits move into the forefront. People always think that as a holistic health teacher, coach, and guide, that I'm a total health and wellness freak, totally pure, and perhaps a bit too serious, which is hilarious if you only knew. But yeah, I love geeking out on all things holistic health, experimenting with myself for over a couple decades now, and really just being open to what life has to offer in the way of the mind, body, and soul connection, and anything that can move us toward being our best selves. But I'm also here to tell you that I love food. I'm originally from New Orleans and Lafayette, Louisiana, where food is king, cocktails are queen, and all things indulgent are very much a part of the culture. And while that can be very out of balance, it can also be the best of times at times. Many of us have European roots. For me, it's French and German. And while the German influence can certainly be more organized, logical, and efficient, the French are certainly more loose, open, and appreciate that joie de vie. When it comes to food, I have a background in upper echelons of food and wine, working with several master sommeliers, opening several businesses where it's all about the quality over quantity, the land, the farmers, the wine growers, the quality of their produce without pesticides and chemicals, strictly the gifts of the earth, and as well as the balance of it all, and all about the indulgence, the pleasure, the joie de vie. This lifestyle, to me, is holistic. It is nodding to the whole. It references the dark and the light in all of us. And at times, it's all about the quality, which lends to self-respect and self-love, taking care around what and how much we put into our bodies and our minds, and having lovely meals, communing with friends and family, quality food, reasonable proportions, consumed slowly over time through lengthy conversations at the supper table, and perhaps accompanied by beautiful music and enough wine to have a good time, but also be better than useless the next day. This is a part of a healthy lifestyle. Appreciating good food, good music, good art, good company, all of the joys of the flesh, if you will, in this physical plane, on the earth, right here, right now, while also acknowledging an adherence to what makes life tick and stick and support us, as well as those around us. And while this may be a little different for everyone, life is meant to be enjoyed. Boundaries and rules and regulations are necessary at times, but what would life be without pleasure? So here in America, the last few decades of measuring and restricting and timing of everything, our food, our exercise, endless advertising of this, especially to women, around depriving ourselves, really, it's restricting, not allowing this and that and the other thing, using verbiage such as, I'm going to be bad and eat this cookie, or I'm going to be good today and only eat these certain size portions. Psychologically, this is essentially a constant, nonstop, unkind way of measuring ourselves, measuring others, and getting stuck in a constant state of comparison, measuring ourselves up against everyone around us. This timing and measuring of everything can help in anyone's initial journey back to whole health, Some of us need to say, use a stopwatch to time ourselves on a run to challenge ourselves, which is a great motivator. But like anything, keep an eye on that. It can easily become an addiction. What I see in clients needing to measure and time everything is a hint that there is a lack of self-worth, as though they're never going to get there, wherever there is, unless they control every little thing. In a nutshell, letting go and of that thinking and obsessing about all of it, so much rigidity and structure, even just a little bit of letting go can simply allow for a lot more balance and a lot more flow. And often with those come a lot more fun and a lot more grace. So within many of our daily practices, look for that playlist popping up right about now, we learn to put attention on our thoughts and our habits without judgment in order to drop into a little bit more of love self-love, which allows for more love for others. Use whole foods. Put your hands in your food when preparing your meals to connect to the earth, which provides so much for us. This has been proven to benefit us psychologically. And love your food, and it will love you right back. If you're eating a gorgeous salad, embrace it. If you're eating an incredible chocolate cake, do so with full love for it. Life is meant to be enjoyed, This is part of our holistic health, and holistic health is our birthright. If you'd like to book a session with me, please see my contact info in the description below. 
I've started these new channels separate from past work to serve anyone unable to gain support at this time. These are interesting times to say the least, with very interesting things happening in media, so please like, subscribe, and share if this video resonates with you. That one small action just might help more people to be well. Thank you for being here, and until next time, have a great week.